morning my lovely Scorpio and welcome to your February reading. Even through this is for February you can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. Take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. So, like always, we're going to just tap into the energy and see what messages there is for you. Straight away, I did hear something about a call. That someone will call you. I feel this is linked together with good news or some kind of result, something you have been waiting for. Something magical. I also heard someone say, be yourself. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Hmm. I feel that the next month ahead, you're really wishing and focusing on things that are more serious. And this is really going to affect you in many ways in your life. Being serious with your dreams, being in a serious relationship, having someone that you can settle down with and just be doesn't really seem like a stupid idea. And this is attracting serious offers. Might be linked together with this phone call or a message that you receive or a positive result. Again, if we are serious about our goals or whatever your goals is about, if it's about um, creating, painting, YouTube, music, dancing, if you're serious about it, and you put this wish and focus into it, the effect of this brings in opportunities and serious things, serious offers, serious pathways, help, outcomes. It attracts so much for you when it comes to love, work and other things. It's all coming your way. You attract people that you can really count on, people you can trust. And people that, that you can count on, you seem to realize it, see it, you sniff it out. You see it in their attitude, you feel it in their energy. I mean, you are a true detective. You have this natural energy, the natural instinct. And I saw tree, tree, tree with that. So tree, tree, tree might have followed you a lot, or it might be a number that you need to pay attention to. Now, in the combination with what we just spoke about, if you're together with someone who gives you unease, and you see tree, 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 it might be a sign. You are going to find yourself being more open and trusting when it comes to people. There's such a big boost of beautiful rebirth energy around you. Yeah, I really like that energy. Don't turn away from what you truly believe in. Don't turn away from your spirituality. That's a big thing for you. Do not give up on your spirituality. Do not give up on your senses, your detective senses, your authenticity, your truthfulness, your beauty, everything. And most of all, do not steer away from spirituality just because of the incapable, is not the right word that I'm looking for, but someone with a stupid mind, someone who don't get, get it, someone who don't understand you. I feel that some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very logic, so they try to turn everything into something logic, and you just want to feel true things. You just want to live your life. You just want to be. There is the same energy when it comes to Libra. So you might have Libra in the chart or you might be dealing with a Libra. But if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel it's more a, on a positive note. Because both of you are going through similar things. And don't hold yourself back because of society. There is some kind of old or limited belief that is holding you back or that might be holding you back or someone whatever this is just push through and I think we should just dig in moonlight enchantment magic yeah there is a wolf so again maybe there's something about a wolf spirit guide if you guys are familiar with that or working with that air guardian would that well that makes sense with the Libra energy. Shift your perception. 
Yeah. Then we have, do not discount your imagination for it has a great power. Yeah, definitely. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honor it for just below the surface of this seemingly real world. There exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. Very often it can be the beginning of a wonderful new creation. Yeah, magic, it fits very well. Trust your magic, trust your ability. It's actually very Scorpio-like with the black wings and the black hair. And then this being air, so I fear that some of you guys might actually have Libra somewhere. Or air in your chart. Okay. For some reason, I want to take one card first and then have into that before they would take more card. I don't know why I just got guided to do that, but we will listen. Wow, the Empress. Well, that makes sense. I also do see the Seven of Pentacles, so I'm just going to take that. Yes, flowers, fruit, rebirth. We talked about that. Don't give up, really. There is a lot of energy when it comes to not giving up. All right, this is not straight at all. You are in a period of time right now where there is so much magic, so much wonder. There's waves of, yeah, energy shifts. It's not what I want to say. It's not what I'm looking for. But waves of something that hits you now and then. Like suddenly you can take a shower or you can be in the process of cleaning or at work or <laughs> driving a car, whatever you're doing. And a wave of something hits you. And it could actually be linked together with this imagination or a fantasy or something you want to create. And it fills your body with this rush of, I can do this. But then something drags you out of it again. Like you don't linger in it or you don't grab it. I feel spirit and the universe is trying to tap into your energy all the time. You have to keep the door open. You have to trust this energy. You have to keep the portal open for other realms. Trust it. Everything is not as it seems in the 3D. And I really feel that there is this energy of you tapping into something and then tapping out of it. Like, yeah, almost like you open a door and then for some reason you close it again because you don't trust in your own magic or you don't trust in what you see because it's not linked together with the 3D. Even if you can't see the next month ahead. Have faith that you are being supported in mysterious and wonderful ways by unseen beings, by your higher self, by magic. For some reason you don't believe in that. And the Empress is a healer. There's so much power. And again, we have Taurus, but we also have Libra again. Everything comes in tree. Tree. Yeah. You are creating something, whatever this is. I'm just going to take the rest now because I think the message came true. So what else can we get? Hmm. Ace of Swords. It did fall here. So again, there's something about unlocking your imagination. Imagination, there's something about a song too. And with the judgment reverse, I also feel there is a fear of being seen. And what was the message that we got earlier? Be yourself, right? That was the message. Just be yourself. Don't give up because there is this energy of not finishing something that you started. It could, be, it could be different things. So you start off something and then you don't finish it. Or you don't ship it off. Or you don't press send. Or you know, yeah. Something you didn't finish. Ace of Swords. It's going to unlock something. Whatever this is, the moment that you finish it, send it off. No matter what it is, if it's you, you know, finishing up a project for school or something, or if it's you creating something for other people to see, I feel this is the time for you to actually do it. 
because there is a lot of frustration. There is a lot of frustration, especially because of setbacks. But you have to impress in the beginning and you have all the magic that you need. There is this shift your perception. There are so many things blossoming from the inside. The harvest is ready. You have an instinct and you have a desire. You have the key to actually put it out. And maybe that's why you got a call or will get a call because it is a result from you actually putting something out there. Posting something, whatever this means for you. It doesn't help to be indecisive because this is someone who knows what to do. You have the key, but then you're deciding not to use the key anyway. Self-doubt, I heard. So yeah, there might be a little bit of self-doubt. But it's all in your mind. Because the air element is obviously about our thoughts, our thinking, everything that is happening when it comes to the mind. And you have spirit guides, angels, that are really trying to help you overcome any thoughts that are haunting you, keeping you away from your dreams and desires, keeping you away from your own magic. It could also be thoughts from someone else, because we also had that energy. It could be something from the past that's haunting you. Something that blocks you from actually seeing things clearly, because you see things clearly. You do. But what is holding you back? What could stand between you and all the greatness that awaits you? A lot of you guys already know the answer to that. <laughs> king of Cups. But it's a female king. So that might be something when it comes to a father. Something that you're healing. You could be guided by a father. I don't feel it's something negative. But there's something that might hold you back. A fear. Something links together with your emotions. I feel someone uh, out there, you have Capricorn in your chart as well, so pay attention to that. Nine of Swords, yeah. What is holding you back? Especially, okay, especially with um, the Seven of Swords, or Seven of Pentacles, okay. So we have a Queen of Cups now, which is interesting that we actually have a King and a Queen. I wonder if someone is coming into your life. Someone who sees your greatness. It could be, a, you know, a father energy that that guides you right now. But there might actually be someone else coming your way. But there might be a step that you need to do to be seen by this other person. It could be an air sign. It could be a water sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Both of you could actually be water signs, or have that a lot in your chart. But there is this energy of being held back. So if there is fights with a person, or there is no communication, or a little... Well, it doesn't feel negative, it feels more like I am protecting my heart, so I'm keeping myself away a little bit. But I feel if there is another person, that this person actually sees you for who you are. Someone who's very intelligent. It's also interesting that we have the ships here and we have it here. So I wonder if it's linked together with this message. Message. And if it's not linked together with a person, I feel it has something to do with you. Your masculine and your feminine energy. Getting out of anxiety. Seeing your beauty. Realizing, again because we have flowers here, that what you have inside of you is so powerful. And with the curtains, there might be something, because again, this is combined with the, the fame card, judgment, that you actually step out there, you're being seen. There might be something with theater, or movie making, or video making, again, it could be YouTube, it could be Instagram, it could be whatever. It could also just be the energy of just being seen. I heard someone say something you have done for the longest of times, but that you stopped doing. What did you stop doing? 
Six of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands. Not a queen. There's a lot of queen energy. I also feel that... Oh, we have six again. That you will find balanced people. People who are on your, the same energy as you are. The same journey as you are. People who are going to help you. Yeah. Insecurities are something that's stopping you. For sure. Six of Pentacles. Reversed. Mm. You could be stopped because of unemployment. Um, you could be stopped by someone who was deceptive. You're being held back because of something from the past. If it's a person or something that happened. Or if it's um, someone who abused their power towards you. It could be your ego having control and power when it comes to you being the queen of wands you're creating. Because there is this energy, this these holes where then you're stopping yourself, here you're stopping yourself again, and here you're stopping yourself, and then here, and then here. Like you blossom, you bloom, you there is power, and then for some reason you close the door. You have your own nectar. Six of wands. And we all know, Six of Wands is a fame card too. I think you are meant for more, but for some reason you are holding yourself back. And I don't know why I got emotional with that. I think that you could help a lot of people with what you want to create. If you just put yourself out there. And if you really think about it, what is actually holding you back? A lot of the time, fear comes from us thinking that if I put this out, if I put myself out here, people will look at me. Neither thoughts. People will see my mistakes. People will pull my mistakes apart. They will analyze it. They will say that my words are wrong. But these thoughts only come from failure. And failure is not in the here and now. Failure is in the past. So you actually cannot use that. Because you are your greatest gift, and you have a gift inside of you that is so powerful that it overshadows all these fears. So I feel that by now, you actually know what to do. Grab the ego by the hair and put it back into the corner. And then totally forget about that corner. Just go out there. I hope that this could help you. Let me know in a comment. And if you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next reading. Bye!